about it. Uh, I want to st we're going to start, though, with uh, Melton Chides, and rather than give you the lengthy introduction and tell you what a great guy he is and everything, you can read his bio in there. Uh, so I'd just love for you to uh, warmly welcome to the stage Melton Chides, senior here at West High. As C.S. Lewis so eloquently said, the task of a modern educator is not to cut down jungles, but instead to irrigate deserts. What Lewis meant in this statement was, in opposed to viewing students as a destroy and build up process, we should value the beginnings of every student, their soil, what really makes them, and build the seeds and grow the seeds of education in every single one of them. We all originate from different places. That's something that truly is unique about West Aurora. The fact that we can have so many people from different social, economic, ethnic, and cultural backgrounds all unite to one school for the common goal of education. I've attended school district 129 my entire life as my parents immigrated from Mexico in search of a better life. We hear that every day on the news, and it's truly a statement that I can relate to. It's amazing to reflect that only 13 years ago, I began my education in this same building as I attended the preschool program that West Aurora offered at the time. And it is now amazing to realize, and it's inspirational to know that I'm only 94 days away from graduating from that same building that first saw me walk in. So over the 13 years, you can imagine, I've definitely picked up a few of the teaching styles and, and habits that, that truly affected me as an individual. Growing up, you could categorize me as a low, middle-income class, Mexican-American, first-generation student whose parents could not speak a word of English. Inevitably, I had difficulties. I had to overcome a few obstacles. But with the help of teachers, with the help of those individual teachers that were able to get, connect with me at a personal level, I was able to not over, overcome those obstacles but to reach heights and to reach levels which I could have never imagined as a first grade student struggling to speak English. Of those teachers, you can start to form a trend over the years as I progressed through elementary school and middle school and now in high school, I developed and I, and I realized that there were certain teaching styles and certain habits with teachers that really excelled and made me a better person. And I believe that it all comes down, I could stand here and give you guys an explanation and a complex explanation, giving you guys the traits and the qualities and, and the uh, characteristics exhibited by these teachers, but I believe that it all comes down to the basic, most fundamental principles that can be dated back thousands of years that comes in effective teaching, which is simply relationships. As students, or more simply as human beings, we are constantly searching for relationships. We're constantly searching for people to attach ourselves to. And that's where true learning takes place. Whether it be Native Americans um, teaching the first pilgrims on how to harvest their crops more efficiently, or a math teacher simply teaching their students how to solve for X. Without teachers developing with their students a sense of trust, reliability, and respect, true effective teaching will never take place. In a study conducted by Northwestern Illinois University, it was shown that students who feel that they have a bad or negative relationship with their teacher tend to have lower grades, less college applications, and most negatively, I believe, is lower self-esteem. You know, these are qualities and characteristics that are devastating to a student. But on the flip side, the beauty of these relationships can truly be life-changing. And let me remind you of a young lady who attended Nicolet High School in Tennessee. This lady, this young lady was talented. She was brilliant. She was young. And she came across the teacher named Mrs. Duncan. Mrs. Duncan believed in this young lady, and she told her every day that she could be something bigger than she imagined. Every day she would force this 
um, young lady to go in front of the class and uh, practice her abilities. Because of this, this young lady went on to graduating high school, and the words of Mrs. Duncan kept echoing in the back of her mind. She went on to graduating from Tennessee State University, and she began to form herself as an iconic figure in television. Over the years, she began to grow on her legacy, and now we know her today as the iconic woman named Oprah Winfrey. These relationships are building every day. We see these relationships happening in our everyday lives, and they're truly life-changing. As a student who has gone through this district for 13 years, I've learned that the teachers who had the most impact in me, who I truly learned the most from, are the ones who are willing and able to connect with me at a personal level. Knowing that your teacher believes in you, as cliche as it may sound, truly affects the person you become. Knowing that your teacher can envision your success not only in the classroom but in life, sometimes even more clearly than I could in myself. The power of a single student, the power of a single teacher, can affect the outcourse of an entire student's life. And to wrap it all up, as Henry Adams so said it so simply, yet so profoundly, he said, a teacher's effect is infinite. They can never tell when their influence will stop. Thank you.